Tonight on TIN TV, we are taking a look at how Intel is investing in the state of Ohio. By now, you've likely heard the company is building the world's largest chip manufacturing plant near New Albany. Now, over the next 10 years, it'll bring 3,000 jobs and 7,000 construction jobs. Intel has committed to 100% renewable energy supply by 2030. That includes solar power. TIN TV reporter Kevin Landers explains the role other parts of Ohio will play in meeting Intel's energy needs. With plenty of available land, Licking County is attracting more chip-based businesses. This land behind me is slated to be a mega solar farm. Located off Watkins Road, this former cornfield could soon be home to 250,000 solar panels. Panels that could help power the massive Intel microchip plant about a 20-minute drive to the north. Um, the electricity being developed there could very well go to Intel. Um, or Intel could contract with um, other developers and other sites here in the state. Not only would green energy flow from this farm field, so would taxes that could be directly invested into the community. It's like 30 times more tax payments. So that's going to directly fund the schools and all of the other local taxing jurisdictions. Ohio is becoming a major player in the solar power field. Perrysburg's first solar is the largest vertically integrated solar manufacturing plant outside China. And while some may question whether Ohio has enough sun to power Intel's plant, those in the industry say Intel wouldn't have come here if it didn't think Ohio could generate it. And Ohio might not be as good as southern Arizona or, or western Texas or something like that, but the consistency with which we do get sunlight hitting the ground here is plenty to warrant uh, you know, projects of this size. This map shows the number of solar plants at different stages across the state. The green dots show only two are operational now. The orange dots show pre-construction. Ohio companies are positioning to take advantage of Intel's energy needs by providing a solar grid of power. The grid is like a big bathtub with multiple faucets currently turning on and multiple drains. The energy users are the drains and the generators are the faucet. What Intel will be looking to do is to contract with a solar facility that's not built yet, and they'll effectively be turning on a faucet of new solar supply. In Licking County, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.